Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'm back with another home decor DIY. This is a faux orange flowers and leaves arrangement. Stay tuned. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. You're also going to need a moss pole. I got this from Amazon. You're going to need a plant pot. I got that from the Dollar Tree. Some pipe cleaners. You can get these from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. You're going to need some leaves. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. The smaller flowers are from the Dollar Tree and the larger flowers are from Michaels and also a pair of scissors. And you will need some rocks as well. First, I'm going to start by opening the pipe cleaners and go ahead and set it those aside. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this cap off the bottom of the moss pole and the insert that's inside. You can set it aside as well because you will not need it. Then I'm just going to measure how high or low I want the plants to be on the moss pole. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach those with some pipe cleaners and make sure that you tie it securely. So you will have to hold your plant in place while you're twisting the pipe cleaner. So you just want to twist until you feel like the base of that plant is nice and secure. And then we're going to go ahead and add another one at the top as well. I'm going to grab my other leaves and attach them to the opposite side of the moss pole and go ahead and use pipe cleaners to secure that as well. So here I'm just deciding where I want to put those orange flowers at and I'm just kind of measuring the plant pot just to see how high or low I went on the moss pole just to make sure that it's okay once I do put it in the plant pot. So I am going to go ahead and start with that larger flower and I'm going to secure that with some pipe cleaners as well. You will have to hold your plant stem in place when you're initially tying your pipe cleaners and then some of these I did go back and add a third pipe cleaner just to make sure it's a little bit more secure. I'm going to go ahead and attach that second large flower as well on the opposite side and go ahead and secure that with pipe cleaners also. So I am making sure that everything is kind of nice and spaced out because you don't want anything to be too crowded or overlapping. Your basic concept is just to make sure that the moss pole is completely covered. Therefore, when you do fluff out your leaves and your flowers later on, it looks nice and full. Next, I'm just measuring how high or low I want the smaller flowers on the moss pole and then I'm going to attach those with pipe cleaners as well. I'm going to go ahead and repeat those steps for that last set of flowers. After you make sure your pipe cleaners are nice and secure, you're just going to take your scissors and cut off those longer ends. If you see any pipe cleaners that you want to tighten up a little more, you can go ahead and do that before trimming them. After I've trimmed all the ends for the pipe cleaners, I'm just going back through to see if I need to add any extra pipe cleaners for a little bit more security. So then I did see I did want a spot that I wanted a little bit more tighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that or any other ones that I may need to add and trim it as well.
Next, I'm just gonna add a generous amount of hot glue to the base of that moss pole, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert that into the plant pot. You'll need to hold your moss pole in place for a few seconds until that glue dries a little bit. You'd wanna make sure this is as upright as possible just because if it's leaning, it will continue to lean and probably fall over. So you just wanna make sure everything is nice and upright. Once you feel like your moss pole is nice and secure, you can go ahead and add your rocks to your plant pot. So I did have some old vases that had rocks in them. So I just went ahead and grabbed those and dumped those in as well. And then I'm gonna come back with some smaller rocks and go ahead and fill it up. When you're filling your plant pot, you wanna make sure to go ahead and rotate it just to make sure that you're evenly covering everything. Because if not, then you'll be building up rocks on one side and probably accidentally push your moss pole over. So just make sure you're keeping everything nice and level as you fill up your plant pot. So these were the smaller rocks that I was talking about. They initially started off white. I had got these from the Dollar Tree, but I did have some black spray paint because I wanted the rocks to have a darker look. So I went ahead and just spray painted them. That's why they're in this Walmart bag. So I'm just gonna use these to fill up the plant pot. So I'm just going to make sure all my rocks are nice and leveled and then I'm going to go through and fluff out my flowers and my leaves. I did see a spot that I wanted to add a little bit more security so I'm just going to add another pipe cleaner in there and trim off the ends. So I'm just giving it a final look through just to double check everything just to make sure and see if I need to add any pipe cleaners or readjust anything. So after I make sure everything is all good, this is the final look. So this arrangement I did decide to put on a plant stand with my Faux Monstera tree. You can check that tutorial out as well. And this is the final look with them both together. So if you like what you saw and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching.